Jim Alexander here with Real Talker at the premiere of Low Tide. Yes, the posters are behind me. I'm talking to the cast and to the director of film, Jaden Martell, Keen Johnson. They're all here, so stay tuned for my interviews coming up next. Jim Alexander with Real Talker. I'm talking to my friend, Alex Ustetter. Alex, we've caught up earlier. We talked some football. We might touch it up on it again. You know, I was asking... Um, Kian and kind of the experience of working on this film. What was one thing that really that you've taken since this has been a couple years since you worked on it? What is something that you've taken from this film to apply it to your films afterwards and your kind of career going forward ever since? I think just uh, being really free on set um, and changing it up as much as possible and, and not just playing the same thing throughout the entire evolution of filming the scenes. I think that's something I learned is just trying to mix it up and keep everyone off guard because that makes everyone alive and I think improv is also really cool. I didn't get a lot of chance to do improv in this but uh -huh. I think I think that's that's kind of what it is. I like that. Yeah. Any favorite memory that sticks out to you? I mean you guys were you're doing stuff on and off set. Anything that stands out particularly either on set or an off set memory working on this thing um, that stands out? I think us getting a gator and driving around in the nearby streets and the parking lots. Uh, that was pretty fun. That was a pretty fun night. We did a lot of things. It was uh, we kind of we kind of lived the characters off screen a bit too. So mm -hmm. we had a lot of free time, which was fun. What was Kevin like to work with? I mean, it was one of his first films. Um, but what was he like on set? And, and what did you take away from from his directing? He was uh, calm, cool, collected. He's uh, he knows what he wants. Um, super smart and passionate about the film, and very helpful for any thing that an actor would ever need. Um, so I loved working with him. And, you know, I think he always knew that he could push me a bit and get me to stretch to other places, and I wanted to do that too, so we had a good time. Yeah, interesting. I like that. Any favorite movies you've seen this summer? Uh, either on, I just talked to Key, and he, he told me Midsummer is one of his yeah. favorites. I love that movie that too, but awesome. anything that stood out to you that you really enjoyed? I love Peanut Butter Falcon. Oh, good one. And I love Monos. It just came out. I have Monos. Seen that. Yeah, it's super good. Crazy movie. It's an epic for sure. Do you have a favorite genre that you kind of stick or is to or are drawn to? Or not really. I just like I just like good films, movies that impact an audience. No, I gotta ask. I mean, you got unique hair. This is a look. You have a specific look. Is this gonna ever be cut or, or what? Do you yeah. yeah, no, it'll go it'll at go. some point. At some point. <laughs> okay. yeah. So enjoy it while it's here. And finally, we talked so, with some Kansas City stuff. Uh, Kansas City Chiefs. Um, tell me, what, what are you looking out for this season? for them. I mean, you got LaShawn McCoy, you got... Well, at this current moment, I'm very excited for a potential Jalen Ramsey trade. So, if we get, I mean, if we get Jalen Ramsey, like, I, the whole Antonio Brown thing is really... It's really testing, testing the NFL, I think. So, I'm really curious to see what happens on that. Um, and I really hope that he doesn't end up in the AFC Championship versus us. So I think it's going to be us in the past. Right? I think so. That's where I say. You think McCombs can replicate an MVP type season, or he's going to he's going to follow it up? Oh man, I'm looking forward to seeing that. We got Matt Nagy, a, a guy from Kansas City. So Matt hopefully Nagy, with yeah. the Bears, so we'll yeah. do some Trubisky stuff. can make a move too. I mean, if they loosen up and stop playing, you know, the Mac, you know, the Nagy typical offense, yes. and just like start stretching the field a bit and doing different things, and Completely agree. Trubisky running around like he he loves that shit. I love it. I love it. This is good advice. This is a football guy right here. Alex, thank you so much. Appreciate it.